hey guys welcome back to my channel i know it's been a long time since i uploaded a video but i'm back and i'm back with the banger so if you want to see how i got this cute color stay tuned for this tutorial i'll be using three boxes of magenta from l'oreal high color as well as a 40 volume developer to get the most product out of the tube, I unraveled the bottom and then I cut the tube open and squeezed the contents out into a mixing bowl. By doing so, I'm ensuring that I'm getting all the product out of the tube because I literally hate wasting products. So this way allows me to literally get every single dye that's inside the tube. And then of course, I mix the cream with 40 volume developer and at first i add a small amount so that the dye mixes with the developer easier since the two textures are different but later on i add more developer as you saw me do here and then this is how the consistency should look it shouldn't be too thick or too runny so moving on i started to dye the hair off camera but i'm still going to show you guys how i get the job done so there isn't really a particular way of how you should apply the dye to the hair all you have to do is section the hair and take small pieces and apply the mixture to the section using a hair coloring brush make sure to saturate each section with product and don't forget to get the back of each section like i'm doing here and also you need to massage the product into the hair so that it gets all strands as you see me doing here i'm going back in with more product and making sure that each strand is thoroughly saturated with the product and I generally start from the roots and work my way to the bottom as you see me doing here as you guys are watching this video if you have any questions please do not be afraid to comment them down below because I do answer questions that you guys ask me in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys Moving on to the front tube, I take smaller sections to avoid getting down on the lace. However, I do the same thing that I do to the actual bundles on the wig. I apply the color to the roots, but I do not get too close to the lace. As you can see there is some black hair at the top, close to the root. Like for example, on this particular piece, there's some black hair at the top, but I don't get too close because I do not want the actual dye getting on the leaves because once it gets on the leaves it's hard to remove i don't get too close to the roots because the product will dye the roots on its own without getting on the leaves i don't know if it's a chemical reaction but that's all i know and once i finish putting the dye at the top of the hair i just saturate the bottom of the strands to make sure every piece of strand is coated once i finish dyeing the hair i put the wig in a plastic bag for at least 20 to 30 minutes and after that i rinse out the dye i do not shampoo but i do condition the hair with silicone mix for an additional 20 to 30 minutes and as you can see the roots are dyed burgundy so don't worry about getting too close to the root because it will definitely die so moving on i'm just gonna take a wax stick to flatten out the hair and i do have a few clips of me styling the hair but i already um plucked the i already plucked the frontal off camera but it is important that you use a wax stick with a hot comb because this ensures that your wig will be super super flat and it's important for your wig to be flat because baby nobody wants their wig to look puffy and then i just blow dry the hair just so that it gets all the knots out and so it's straighter for me to curl the hair so i take some heat protectant and i apply it to the hair and then i section off the wig to begin my curls so as i curl the hair i don't tightly wrap the hair around the curling iron i just firmly hold the hair and then twist the curling iron because when i twist the curling iron the hair naturally wraps around it so i don't have to like tug or anything just make sure i'm holding the hair firmly and then once all the hair is wrapped, I just wait like 20 seconds. It doesn't seem like I waited 20 seconds, 
because I had to um, fast forward the video for filming purposes. Once I finish curling the hair, as you can see, I literally just pin it up because I want the curls to cool down. This allows the curls to last longer. So this is how the wig looks once I was done pin curling it. And then this is how the wig looks once I comb out the curls and it is beautiful. The color is amazing. The bounce is amazing. I literally, literally love how this wig came out. And of course, I was using my bundles. For my hair company, if you would like to purchase some, just DM me on Instagram, Leba Ify. You already know that's my hair page. So, get in tune, guys. So, once again, guys, thank you all for tuning into my tutorial. Please leave a comment down below with any questions you have. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel and make sure you like this video. See you guys on the next one. Peace.